Hello and welcome back. Here we are outside the prison. And there was a whole bunch of uh, updates here. Yeah, I keep forgetting that I've, I'm missing Volvo. Okay, so we've we've got allies of the flaming fists. Seems like it was a long time coming. Again? No. Okay, we need to do some selling. It's the only way. Okay, let's, let's go here. Yeah. Is that the place? No, that's not the place. Where does he sell stuff? Up here, maybe. <laughs> Lord, Lord, God, Lord, he is expecting you, you. Hello again, sir. What can I do for you? Trading with this guy because I accidentally gave him all kinds of money. So I've got a minus 49% discount. It was from accidentally giving him money. Or giving him uh, selling stuff to him. And him not having enough money to buy it, and then me accepting the trade. I accidentally just sold him some alchemy ingredients. I think I might have picked some up somewhere along the way. Buy all those, thank you.
health potions. Pretty much all I want. Give all these keys to... Alright. Uno momento. Uh, type. Where's your key ring, buddy? Oh, I didn't accidentally give him that because he's got them separated, so that's perfect. He's got 15 food items, and I'll go to camp. Stuff needs to get sold. As does all this. Hello again, sir. <laughs> what can I do <laughs> for you? <laughs> Organization, eh? Three of them. Nice. Three superior healing potions and two of those. Love it. I love it. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Lord Gortash is expecting you. So he's expecting us, is he? Yeah, he is. Please make your way to the We talked to these people. They weren't here before, were they? Best behavior around here. Understood. Don't cause any trouble, all right? What is this thing anyway? A force curtain. Oh dear. Grenade impeller? Impeller. What's that do? Lady Alia says the absolute Audience hall. Are they going to arrest us? What if they throw us in jail? Does it really matter? So that's where we're supposed to go for Lord Gortash, is it? Wait, what? Enter the audience hall, get Gortash's netherstone. Up here. Confront Lord Gortash. I like wants to be here, huh? Let's go upstairs here and see. My friend means to say that the witness must have been all we can do is expecting you. Oh, he's expecting us? Seriously? Oh, there's no way to get up here. I see. And down here was the jail. Okay. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Please make your way. Are they going to arrest us? Guess I have to go up here. Shitty. More experience.
I have a feeling that this is going to go... Not as Gortash expects it, maybe? An Archduke of Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Never thought I'd live to see the day. supposed to do in here. Big day, big day, can hardly contain myself. Don't like the look of this Gartash fellow. But don't you tell him I said that. Right. Silence! I don't want to miss a single word. your manners. A proud day for the Flaming Fist, and for all of Baldur's Gate. As you were, citizen. Okay. I beg your pardon, but have some Oh, he's Gortash. He's standing there. I didn't expect to see him, like, yet. I need a quick word. saying anything of interest. No distractions, please. Please, not now. He sounds frightened. Hmm, let's just walk out right here. Stand down, villain. In the name of the Steel Watch, aggressive action will not be tolerated Villain. in the presence of the patriarchs of this proud city. Yeah, I'll keep things peaceful. The Steel Watch. Appreciate your cooperation, citizen. Why should call me a villain? Dearest patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, but a moment. The Blade of Frontiers graces our halls, and he's wearing his devilish best. My father, he's here. My friend, forgive oh, right the there, cold yeah. welcome. My Steel Watchers are eager watchdogs, for the good of the people, I'm sure you understand. Lord Enver Gortash at your service. So Gortash is definitely a villain, right? Order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that nether stone that you carry. You know, it takes all three to control the brain. Without Thorms, it's become vexingly willful. The quakes are a clear warning. Hmm. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the sword coasts infected. You among them. That prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. Oh, this guy the mind knows everything. Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. 
If we're unlucky, well, not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided if you and I come to an understanding. Together, we can still restore authority over the brain. Of course. Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity. So he says, together we can restore authority over the brain. Let's try and change the subject. <laughs> Why is the crown failing? It's not. But it will not follow new orders unless the Netherstones are united to give the command. When it finishes executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That will be bad for everyone. Once it is freed from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. What kind of understanding? There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Netherstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. <laughs> she wants my blood. She'll have to find me, as if she hasn't found me a million times already. Perhaps she and I can be allies. I'm not afraid of her. What are you getting at? Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know. She's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. Maybe this guy's not so bad. You want me to believe you won't mean no harm? Uh, it's going to take a lot for me to trust you, let's say that. I'd like to propose a pact, a divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. It sounds good. Storm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. So the three are united once again. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. And my father? Your father will do whatever you command him to, like any other subject in our kingdom. What do you say? Shall we be allies? Hmm. I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. I agree, I think. There's a monk option here that says, You seek to rule this city, I seek to better its people. We shall not be allies. Well, I'm probing his mind, he'll probably get mad at us. Okay, let's try the insight option here, observing his body language. Although the, um... The guide guy there doesn't seem to think there's any issue. Nice. Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. He fully intends to share his kingdom with you.
As allies, it seems none of you can be trusted. You, Orin, Catherick. Say that. So Catherick was ready to betray our alliance too. I can't say it comes as a surprise. But you should know this. I initiated this plot. I brought Catherick and Orin together to create the Absolute. They knew this would only work if we stood united and coordinated our powers. Their ambition blinded them to reason. I don't suffer the same affliction. In short, you can trust me. Let's tell him I'll think about it. Perhaps a demonstration of why you need my help will motivate you to make the right decision. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. A hmm. doppelganger, hidden among us. Squaw! Unfortunately, I the saw a spoiler, so I know who it is. like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly. Or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. Surely your steel watch can handle Orin. Why do you need me? Orin is... elusive, shall we say. The grip of the steel watch may be tight, but sand still slips through its fingers. Some conflicts are best resolved quietly. The people are cattle, obedient until panicked. You, Orin, Catherick, the Brain, what was your plan? First, Orin the Red, bloody dagger of Baal, causes panic in the streets through killings in the Absolute's name. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Catherick Thor. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them, all out of fear of the Absolute. Next, I, we, will declare curfew and begin infecting the masses. Our subjects will hear the voice of their absolute god. The faithful will do anything in the name of their god. And so begins your tyranny. Where in the Nine Hells did you find a powerful artifact like the crown? Am I free to go? Soon. First, come and be witness as I make history. The first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. <laughs> um, all right. Then we proceed. The Patriarchs await. Distinguished Dukes, Patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same, by word, deed, and decree, so that none may suffer? I swear. Gather guests. Grant ye consent. Say nothing. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate.
My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty-handed. All right. The Steel Watch has made an impenetrable fortress out of the Sword Coast Crown Jewel. I can't think of a better endorsement for Gortash than that. Where's the Duke? Oh, he's right there. Father. Your father wants the Grand Duke now a pawn in the Absolute's game. Your infected minds smolder in each other's presence. My dearest boy, the hells have touched you. But you've come to me, just as Gortash said you would. Father and son, unstoppable generals. Together, we will usher in a new dawn. Hmm. My father, my hero, I'll save you from the absolute's thrall. What is a hero, my son, if not an actor for the greater good? Faerun suffers in darkness. Tear has abandoned us. Helm's eye has strayed. But Baldur's Gate will soon burn bright, a beacon to light the heavens. You, Gortash, and I will ignite the final spark, my son. And that is the greatest of goods. Don't you understand? You're infected with an illithid parasite. For a brief moment, uncertainty clouds his mind, then dissipates. The astral prism vibrates in concord. What nonsense is this? I... The prism quivers once more. Raven Guard falters. Help me. Your tadpole seizes. The prism stills. Raven Guard's empty eyes meet yours. As I said, Baldur's Gate will ascend hmm. to Rill's first and only grand city. Let's try this. It's illithid, but I think Will would do it. He calls on the tadpole to explore Raven Guard's uncertainty. All he needs is a two. First comes a vision of terror. The city of Baldur's Gate taken by illithids. But beyond the terror... There is hope. You see a beaming raven guard presiding over the sunlit city, applauded by the people. A people at peace. The real raven guard's still in there, and he wants out. Have we finished then? Seems like it'd be a mistake to say Florix sent me. But let's do it anyway. Help me! Ah, the Black Widow caught you in her web. Floric chose shadow over light. Her betrayal burned are shut. deeper than the fires of Avernus. She's been punished for her lies. Don't let her get to you. The Duke wants to keep Floric's location a secret. Little does he know that you've already found and freed her. <laughs> All right. Well, well, well. Let's have uh, a little talk with Will here. Your parasite binds your mind to Will's. Your memories of talking with Ravenguard become his. You spoke with my father. Incredible. Uh -huh. To hear his voice speak those words, like a stranger wrapped in his flesh. But there's still a glimmer of him in there, calling for release. 
I feel it. I know it. I won't let the Absolute keep him. This is my pledge. Hmm. Okay. Get the Netherstone from Gortash. Gortash put forward a proposition. If we kill Orin and take her Netherstone, he will let us rule the city alongside him with the Elder Brain at our command. Gortash proposed a pact of allegiance with us. If we kill Orin and take her Netherstone, he will let us rule the city alongside him and the Elder Brain at our command. Disable the Steel Watch. Figure out how to disable the Steel Watch. Gortash is protected by the Steel Watchers. We need to figure out how to disable them. Hmm, return to that freaking devil outside. I guess that's it. Walked around here already, I believe. Or maybe not. I've been out there for sure. found the duke and then he disappeared she searched the city for signs of him raven guards a hero elder elder would still be stuck in the hell if it weren't for him have you seen the teeth in the city is he back here i wonder Why do we have to speak with Raphael? Gods are watching me. <laughs> All right, talk to her. What did I tell you? A momentous occasion. I'm sure you agree. I've had enough, Mizora. What do you want? Your attention, little pup. Nothing more. And you'll be glad to give it. You see, Gortash has had your father relocated. Oh, okay. Um... Where have they taken him? To the slaughter, the way I hear it. Shit. Your dad's good as dead, pup. And to think there's no way to save him. Or is there? You know something. I know enough. I'll be in your camp <laughs> if you want to work <laughs> something out. Oh, 
That was weird. Why would Gortash uh, get rid of Ravenguard? Of course she'd stick her infernal nose where it doesn't belong. Of course she's dreamt up some risible scheme. By all the hounds of the hells, what is she planning? Um, where's Gortash taking your father, do you think? I couldn't even fathom a guess. Though, I doubt we'll need to wait long for answers. Let's make camp when we're able. Mazora will be waiting. Until then, may my father keep safe, whatever coop he's been flown to. Okay. Will ought to know what happened with Mazora. Whatever she has in store for him can't be good. Why does she say that? He, he Lady does know. Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? A devil will come for her due. Mizora is no different. Whatever it is she comes to offer, whatever choice Will makes, someone will suffer. Count on it. Definitely. Voss has gone underground. He'll be waiting for us there. Voss has done his duty. Now, we will do ours. We must find our way to the House of Hope and take the Orphic Hammer. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will use the hammer to break Orpheus free. The hammer could be a way to release Orpheus from his prison. This hammer, could it be? Yes, yes, this is how we will free the Prince of the Comet. This is the key Voss so ardently and courageously sought. That smug shkaketh of a devil stores it at his vaunted house of hope. Our destination is clear, our mission undeniable. We must find a way into the house of hope and retrieve the hammer. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will use it to smash Prince Orpheus out of his prison. Mother Gith, hear my promise. Your son will rise again. The Prince of the Comet will crush the Lich Queen Vlakith and usher in the Age of Orpheus. Hmm. Let's talk about Orpheus. What about him? Leave. So it sounds like we need to go back to camp. Let's go to this instead. if the, the town has changed at all now that the uh, coronation occurred. Doesn't seem like it's any different. I appreciate the company, but I really should be on my guard. Where did Counselor go? Did 
you not hear what I said? I guess we can never go out that way. about this merchant. I don't like these guys who were complaining are gone. It's no wonder we're being replaced by steel watches. Poor guy. Let's have uh, her chat with him for a sec. I Kinda. took you for one of them for a moment. The refugees, that is. You're a recent arrival for sure. Still bearing dust from the road. But you have something they lack. Dignity. These wretches have nowhere to call home. Nothing to live off but what they carry. And nobody to help them but themselves. And me, of course. You help them? How? Me? I lighten their load. You'd be shocked by the sort of things they bring with them. Gold and jewels, they can't easily exchange. Heirlooms, rarities, sentimental items, even cremation urns. Alas, you can't eat grandmother's ashes, nor can you easily trade a golden candelabra for a bowl of soup. That is where I come in. Liquidity. Their heirlooms for my gold. This gemstone you sell brought... You sell bot seems to be what? This gemstone you sell bot seems to be a perfect fit for a ring I found on a daddy bee. Is that so? What a remarkable coincidence. Or perhaps not. These are desperate people. Who is to say what lengths some of them may have gone to just to earn the money to survive? A tragedy, really. But we must not judge. Perhaps I could show you some of my special goods to take your mind off this ugliness. You're a little too eager to brush off that daddy bee. Of course I am. Dead bodies are bad for business, as are people asking the wrong sort of question. Now, would you like to see what I have to offer? Or would you like to leave? I'll be quite content either way. So what's this gem he's got? seen that yet, have I? Where's this gem? Um, the weapon will return to its owner once thrown. Oh, a dwarf throwing it. Speedy reply, I remember that. Cloak that those dominate person. What is this? Summon a spiritual twin of Sethan in a point you can see 
dealing 6 to 27 force damage on hit. Hmm. Seems like possibly a really good weapon. Two-handed, so he would lose his shield, unfortunately. should buy this. What is going on with uh, her? Okay, House of Grief in the Lower City. Welcome. You see to peruse the special goods, I take it. He's not proficient with it. We should maybe buy that. I don't know. Should I buy that? We should definitely buy that cloak, I guess. Where's this gem that she was talking about that fits the ring? This? I actually found it. That's crazy. Looks like it combines with that other broken piece from before. I'll be the other half of that ring. Some repairs are in order. How do we repair it, though? Pretty sure the ring is at uh, 
Is that camp? So there's another reason we need to go to camp. Oh, my fist Thank friends. you for your help with those toys. Gods only know what could have happened if you hadn't stepped in. How's man up doing? Maybe that girl is in here, counselor. I heard you track down the man responsible for those explosive toys. Good work. Double the patrols. We're dealing with a maniac. Glad to hear you did something useful. I'm almost impressed. You might be a nuisance, but at least neither of us got blown up, eh? You might be a nuisance. Attention, fists. Listen up. Suppose the Manip had the right idea letting you poke around. Good job finding those explosives. Oh, you're welcome, everybody. Just wanted to say, I'm rather impressed with your work. <laughs> You'd make a solid flaming fist. Thank you. Thank you very, 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 very much. I've got to say, wouldn't have expected such solid work solving a case from a civvy. Well done. Well done. Listen up. One more dereliction of duty, and you're all going on punishment. Duty. Got it? Punishment detail. Don't we have any of the steel somewhere? Oh my god, everything's white in here now. I guess good they like me now. Surprised I can't talk about, uh... Counselor Floric. Whoa, that was a lot of clothes. Radish.
I'm eating sunflower seeds. I hope it's not too annoying. I'm sure it's you can hear it cracking every once in a while. I mute myself, but sometimes I forget. Encumbered. And Wilbo Baggins. should wear this. Go here and See to peruse the special goods, I take it. What about that ring seems that well, stolen? in that case, I can only assume whoever stole it then gave it to me willingly. Dangerous places, camps like these. According to Boulder's mouth, you never know who might be a cutthroat. Show me where. Even if we got 
So is this. I already disarmed of that. Okay, I remember failing disarming it, but maybe that was when I was... This guy sleeping before. I know he woke him up, but wait, 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 wait. But it isn't a hard one either. If you can't leave a dark blasted shed, it's no wonder we're being replaced by steel watchers. Christine is pretty fun. She held out a bit more. There's all these little stories going on here, but they don't seem to have any purpose. This guy pretending he's hurt. When need. with Christine. This thing with a dog. find whatever was in here and nobody could. There's a mind flare on down there. a bit of a regular, aren't you? Not complaining, not complaining. News, didn't we? So, you'll be wanting a copy of today's edition of the Boulder's Mouth Gazette, then. I thought I already had that. Have I ever told you you're my favourite customer? You are. It's the truth. Yeah, we already bought that, I'm pretty sure. Alright. 
Alright. Let's go back to camp, I guess. She's got Catherick's Warhammer. Boom, 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 boom. Who's going to wear this? that gemless ring. Don't think it's there. Must be here.
gemless ring there. Fuck knows. I suppose I sold it. I don't know why they were saying it, talking about it as if I, I own it still. Missora. I'd take anything she says with a grain of salt. But with her claws as deep in our business as they are, I guess we can't ignore her completely. There you go. nobody wants to talk. Wait, isn't Miss Aura supposed to be here? in the barn, maybe. Is always here. Um. Oh yeah. So they said that somebody's infiltrated my camp. A doppelganger. Could it be her? I brought my own pairing knife. No. Guess we're supposed to end the day trigger things. Do I want to end the day? Not really. Let's do it though. Expecting. 
We better not have to fight without our weapons. Come, sisters, be my testament. No tomb sit in Beator. No tomb sit in Beator. Holy hells. Arcana failed. Just what are you up to? I come to bargain. The hells demand witness. Enough, Mizora. Where is my father? How do I save him? How else we bargain? Sisters. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Your contract, Will. Signed in blood, forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. Well, say then break it already. Will doesn't need to wait six months. No contract is ended without sacrifice. A cost must be paid. Will Ravenguard, a choice is before you. Option one, I show you the way to your father. I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Option two. I break your pact and you are freed from your duty. Your father dies by his enemy's hand and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. Bloody Zariel. I won't let her take Will. Silence, Karlak. Mizora, you asshole! Choose. Hmm. What will happen to Will's powers if he breaks the pact? What powers does he even have based on this pact? Save your father. The city will need him to help rebuild. Do the right thing, give your soul to, so that your father can live. Break the pact, you deserve your freedom, let your father die. I don't know what to tell him to do. What will happen to Will's powers if he breaks the pact? Addendum F. The Absolute must be avenged for the Soulbinder's detention at Moonrise. The Soulbearer retains his gifts until such time as the Absolute is slain. Huh?
Do the right thing. Give your soul so that your father can live. You damned wretch. Do it then. Claim my soul for Zario. Keep my father safe. Fiat Ita. Fiat Ita. Brutal. Anima ad beator. Got a new mission, pup. Go save your father. He's locked in a very nasty place. Gortash's secret command center and prison. Lucky for you, I know the way in. I'll mark your map. After all, a deal's a deal. You know what? I think I'll stick around. Not for the greater good, you understand. Just for the entertainment. Hmm. Well, that's horrible, isn't it? I brought my own. Pe I can't believe Will's given up his soul to Zariel. For a father he fell out with ages ago. There's such a thing as being too good. Someone ought to tell Will Ravengard. Hmm. What do you think, Astarian? Will gave up freedom to save his father. <laughs> I will never understand people like that. Wait. What's this Lazel say about it? The devil, Mizora, has made herself quite at home, hasn't she? Do make her feel as unwelcome as you can. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Standing right by Will. Let's see what others think, too. This city has won too many self-righteous Raven guards. I would have preferred Will cut his family ties. Yeah, I wasn't sure what to say. Time and again, Will's plight reinforces my decision not to pursue the path of a warlock. Will's father owes him gratitude. I hope for his sake Ravenguard is gracious enough to offer it, given how much it cost. How can I help? Hmm. Will's father won't be around forever, but the pact, that's a different matter. I hope he won't live to regret being sentimental. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. Twice Mazorus held my feet to the fire, and twice was I burnt. But my father will live. We will return the Grand Duke to his people. And forever a devil's leash will choke me. I wouldn't give up hope. Maybe you'll find another way out. Sometimes, fate closes a door for good. The bolt is fastened, the key is destroyed, and the wish is forever locked away. The hells will take my soul. I'll make my peace with it. I have once already, after all. Besides, there's no time to wallow in self-pity. More than anything, I'm elated that there's hope yet for my father. 
We should hurry to this mystery prison and retrieve my father before Mazora tries pulling more tricks. Yeah, you, your father still got a tadpole on his head, remember? I'm not gonna say that, I guess. Uh, let's get going then. This prison's in the lower city. Let's move. All right, we gotta go to the lower city. Oh uh, yeah, we can rescue him, but we can't kill him. We will knock him out if we need to, or restrain. Your skull vibrates in concord with the astral prism. Bring me to your duke. I will shield him, as I shield you. Why would uh -huh. you do that? Better to bring him into the fold, than to leave you distracted by regret. Well then, I'm not about to say no. Anything more we should discuss? Nope, that sounds cool. Why the stunned face? You look like you've seen a devil. I'm not impressed by you. You force will to make an impossible choice. The pup dug his own hole, darling. I merely supplied the claws. I've always been the giving type, after all. To wit, go to Gortash's secret prison, and I'll help you spring Will's daddy free. Of course, you could always leave him to rot, but that would make Will's sacrifice worthless, and I know you wouldn't want that. I need something in return if you're going to be staying. Why? I'm supplying Will with every scrap of his infernal power. I've paid my dues many times over. I tell you what. When the time comes to squish that big baddie of a brain, I'll lend you a hand. Like I said, I'm the giving type. Let's go to sleep. Yeah, sure. <sighs> I brought my own pairing. Hmm. She got to say. So there you have it. Lord Enver Gortash, in all his glory. What did you make of him? Seems like an absolute fraud in a very nice coat. Frankly, I'm impressed. He's wormed his way into the most powerful position in Baldur's Gate. Can't wait to flatten him. I'm gonna say he seemed like an absolute fraud in a nice kid. Yeah. Fucker always had expensive taste. I don't know how anyone in this hall could fall for this charade. Isn't it obvious what a chancer he is? When people are scared, scared, they'll do whatever it takes to feel safe. And they expect these big metal monsters to tuck them in at night while the absolute knocks on the gates. If only they knew the truth. The Dead Three orchestrated all of this. 
And it's working. I wish this city, the people running it, were smarter than me. Gortash isn't their salvation. He's the monster at the gate. Well, dailies. Oh. Now binding here. Oh Christ. Where do I find dead bodies? In the prison. on my mind and, well, in it. So, it's definitely a new day. You again? So, you'll be wanting a cop... Darian tourists are weak and loud. What can I do for you? You're right. Check that out. It's got more of that stuff. It's the other bit. Not that. This? Yeah. And we want to do that. this okay good 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 oh yeah we want to see if you got that ring it's likely I gave him the ring
Very likely he has it. There it is. Alright, cool. I've got a long road ahead. items and stuff. That's where I should put it. I'm gonna put these in there too. I guess all these as well. And this. That's it, even though we're uh, not going to be there. She needs to go get some corpses, and I know where there are some. Or wait, do I? They were all uh, unconscious. And tell me what you were doing in the house. The bodies are gone. They woke up, I guess. He's <laughs> still sitting in there. On your way. I'm not paid to chat. Okay. Why doesn't he leave his cell? What do you want? To help you escape? I don't need to escape. I've got food. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Hmm, not sure where to get her some bodies then. Are they going to arrest Let's us? Let's rehearse this one more time. What if they throw us in jail? Pretend I'm a fist. And tell me what you were doing in that. Dear, it won't happen, I swear. Because he can summon his stuff.
to the lower city. I think. time I play because I'm too tired to continue so have a good night thanks for watching and I'll see you next time